Civil Gore here, entering the Randall Training and Adventure Make a Campsite Contest for Bushcraft USA forums. Picking out a spot I haven't been before. Gonna go down in there and see if I can pick me out a campsite. Looking around here, I see lots of valuable resources. There's a river over there be good for procuring water, possible food source for fish. I'm up on a raised area here, so if the river did happen to flood, I would be pretty safe. There's a stream offshoot that would hopefully catch all the water before it come up to me. First priority is going to be working on the shelter area. So I'll start taking care of that first what I could forge off the ground without having to chop too much. Try to conserve energy and time and my blade. Something I wanted to challenge myself on with this video submission is to build a campsite with just limited materials. All I have with me for tools is a SC laser strike. I got a Nalgene bottle with a stainless steel cup. I have a few bits of food, and I have my survival kit. These are items that I'm always carrying with me anytime I go out for a day hike or overnighters. They're always on me. So I want to use just this to kind of challenge myself to build an ultimate campsite with limited supplies. And I also got a few feet of paracord, too. That's it for supplies. Wanted to get out here, challenge myself, see what I could create with just this. I just have one day to build everything. And we'll see what we could do. Stay tuned. Found a good existing structure here, so I'm going to start piling up more sticks to make sort of a retaining wall. Clear all this out. And this will be my shelter for the night. There's a lot of loose sticks, big branches on the ground that I can utilize to build a good back retaining wall, keep wind, and maybe for a good fire reflector. So this will be my spot to start clearing out.
on here is I'm going to have a long fire next to my shelter, sort of an emergency fire. I don't like to have a fire going all the time because I feel like I like to get more acclimated to the weather. Instead of getting a, a fire, and then my body seems to get cold when I'm away from it or when it's going down. So I'm going to build a long fire with a retaining wall close to my shelter for the middle of the night. If it gets down like it has been into the low 30s, upper 20s. So I got this just about done. Gonna get some tinder pile, everything ready to go to strike. So I gotta go and gather some little things now. protective cover on it, just in case it decides to rain or snow or do whatever Eastern Oregon crazy weather happens. I get a covering for that. So that's pretty much it, ready to go. Get back in here. In the shelter. And that's what we'd be looking at if I do decide to light this baby off. Now, I'll go make a cook fire spot away from the camp, over in that direction. I only have about two more minutes left of video, so I'm going to have to show you what I did and wrap it up here. The nearest town's 20 miles away, so I won't be able to go and get a new memory card. What we have, I made a spear, prong stick to utilize for small games, self-defense, or maybe get a fish out of the river. Good luck with that, though. 
I also made squirrel snare trap. It goes through, pull tight. So I can utilize that by putting it up against the tree where they run. Maybe bait it with a little bit of the food I have. And then there's my cook fire away from the camp. A good 20, 25 feet out closer to the river over there. Over here, the breeze hut with a slanting roof. Could use some more debris on top of that. Be a nice little hidey hole with the wall right there. And then my long fire with reflector in case it's needed. If it drops a little freezing and I can't take it anymore. But there's what I did today in about three hours. Thank you for watching.